This video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club that delivers top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel anytime. They call it their box of awesome. I have a few to show you right here. 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based in the US. If you're a Bespoke Post member, you'll be introduced to cool new products every month based on your preference quiz. Every box of awesome has around $70 worth of goods, but costs you a fraction of the value. You'll also be able to preview your box before it's shipped, so if you want to keep it, swap it, or skip it, it's entirely up to you. So I am going to tell you about a box that I've been enjoying for a few months, and then a new one I just got. First, the previous box. Now this was called the Scorch Box, like hot, get it? Hot sauce. So this was my favorite so far. Got about this much left now. Camouflage hot sauce. Oh my god, it's the perfect hot sauce for everything and anything. Chef's kiss. And then this empty bottle <laughs> was Ben's favorite. Then we've got these. Now these are all incredibly different, but so good. Very hot. So like smaller bottles, it makes sense. This month, my box is called Chill. Can you guess what it is? It's actually one item. A portable soft-sided cooler. I packed a few cans to start testing. So now, now it's heavy. I really didn't think this through. It can fit eight bottles of chilled wine, 24 cans of beer or not beer, and there's plenty of room for cookout supplies or snacks that you need as well. Maybe if you don't need eight bottles of wine, you can, you know, pack some water. It actually came with a bottle opener, so, you know, maybe we should pop open a refreshing drink. Oh, this one's good. Yeah, let's do this one. Mm. So if you'd like to check out what you could get, and to get 20% off your first box of awesome, click the link in the description and enter code GBASMR20 at checkout. Or you can go to bespokepost.com slash GBASMR20. Thank you so much, Bespoke Post, for sponsoring today's video. And thank you for watching. Hello, welcome in. You have an appointment for a shave today. You're thinking you want to keep the mustache, though. Yeah, we can do that. Clean shave everywhere else trim up and treat the mustache. I love it. Yeah, it suits you. Okay, great. Come on back. I'm actually all ready for you. Can I get you a coffee or anything? Yeah. Yeah, it's no problem. Cool. Let me put the cape on you. I'll go put the coffee on. Yeah, welcome in. Is this your first time here? Well, welcome in. Yeah, we haven't been in this location for too long. So we're getting a whole bunch of new clients, which is nice. New faces. It's not too tight. It's good? Okay, great. Let's put this down. Okay. Let me grab that coffee. Do you like um, espresso or... We can do a cold brew as well. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Okay, I'll put that on.
more and you'll have some time to drink this um, while I set up, but if you ever need to take a sip, we can stop, don't worry. I'll put that right next to you. All set? Okay, great. We're going to start off with a hot towel and quite hot actually. This is going to go on your face, open up your pores, and we'll be able to assess your skin so that I can pick the right um, products for you today. Yeah, there'll be different products depending on your skin type. Um, that way you'll end up with the right um, the right effect you're going for. Some people have more dry skin, oily skin, their hair is more coarse, or exactly. Okay, ready? So this is going to go up and around. You can close your eyes if you want. It's kind of going to lay right on top. There we go. And gently over the eyes, mostly for a relaxing effect there. Just gonna lightly press that down. It's not too hot, is it? Good. Okay, great. Yeah, it feels so nice. Just, sometimes I just put the hot towels on myself. Okay. Leave that for a few moments. We want to make sure that your skin and your pores are very relaxed. We're going to do gentle, gentle exfoliation. And that's going to help you get a more comfortable shape when there's nothing in the way of the razor. Brighten the skin. Get everything off of the surface that's already dead. I have two scrubs and I'm going to apply them a little bit, uh, a little bit of each onto your jaw area, a little bit up into your cheek, and we'll exfoliate your mustache area as well. I won't shave any of it off, but you can still exfoliate even when you're not shaving. Actually, you should because a lot of that will get trapped in the hair. I'm going to mix this with a little bit of water and that's going to make it damp enough to put on your skin. It's going to go on a little bit like a paste, okay? Alright. You can hear it's kind of gritty. You don't have any allergies. Good, good, good. We put it in the appointment form, but I like to make sure before I put too many ingredients on your face. Okay, now you should be all set. Just get a little bit. Looks very similar to the other one. But you can hear this one is a little more creamy. Here we go. And a little bit right here. Like that. A little bit down the neck as well. 
abrasive cloth here. Gonna get this slightly damp in the sink. And this is what I'm going to use to massage into your skin. Do you have a skincare routine at home? It doesn't need to be much. No, not at all. I think sometimes we get a little caught up in all the products when sometimes those products can be more non-everyday things. Usually a cleanser followed by a moisturizer, that would be your baseline. Ever want to add exfoliation? You can do a physical exfoliant like we're doing now, or there are some really great gentle chemical exfoliants that really, really do wonders, at least for my skin. So I'm just going to gently wipe off the excess now with a damp cloth. Especially people with facial hair, we want to make sure the skin underneath is getting the treatment that it needs. Okay, that is all off. Good, good. And now we get to apply some beard oil. I know what you're thinking. Why are we putting beard oil? before we shave it all off. This is actually going to help me get a softer, closer, more efficient shave. We have two here. Um, one of them is uh, fragrance-free. Uh, this would just be, you would get the, whatever scent the essential oils in that are. Um, and this one includes argan kernel, jojoba oil, apricot, sweet almond, sunflower, shave grass, appropriate, green tea, that's very nice, it should soothe the skin quite well. And this is what we want to apply a few drops and let it sit. Okay, a couple drops like this. About a dime-sized amount. avocado and kukui seed oil, a little bit of aloe vera and coconut, which I really like, and the bergamot and mandarin orange. This is what you're going to smell. Let me know if you like this. Otherwise, we can do a little bit more of the fragrance for you instead. Here. It's very 
very light, clean. You like that? Okay, good. Me too, me too. I do like to mix them a bit so that we have a little bit of A, a little bit of B, a couple of drops of this. Like so. Same thing. We're gonna let that soak in. We can put this on your mustache area too. Again. We are not shaving that, don't worry, but we can soften the hair there. There we go. Down the sides. Have you thought about how much you want to keep kind of up here? Do you want to go right to the top? I see you have a little bit of a, almost like a fade up there. We can make sure that that stays. We don't want it to be So that will sit, and while we give it a few minutes, may I inspect your skin a little bit closer so that I can pick the proper uh, product that I want to use. We have a few different uh, shaving soaps, the shaving creams that we'll be using, and I just want to get um, the best idea that I can of your skin type. use this little pocket-sized magnifying glass and I'll use this little tool as well. Go ahead and stay relaxed for me. You don't have to do anything in particular. Do you tend to lot more dry in the winter? Or do you notice like a big change with the weather? Or not too much? Sometimes our skin adapts to it quite well. Mm. I get dry skin in general. Much more dry in the winter for sure. Yeah, this will be good. I think we'll have a nice moisturizing soap. Very good. Hmm. Okay. And then here, we want the mustache to stop about there. And we'll make it nice and neat across. Okay. Good. Perfect. Okay. Because I noticed the skin on the rest of your face forehead, etc. is a little, little, little bit more dry than here. That's probably because your beard is producing oils. So that's very common. Okay, so let's do... Hmm, let's do this. I'll let you give it a smell. Make sure you enjoy the scent before I put it on your face. But I think this one will be perfect. We just opened a new one. Give this a smell. Good. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. Again, not overwhelming at all. Luxurious. Great. Okay. I'm going to get my brush, lather it up at the sink next to me, and we'll start applying that to your skin. Nice 
Nice lather. And we are going to start on the cheeks. Again, close your eyes if you wish. Otherwise, feel free to keep them open as well. This will lather and build on your skin itself as well. And you'll notice it starts getting a little bit more foamy. and smooth. That beard oil works wonders. Some people come to me and they say when they've gotten shaves in the past it's just like a little bit uncomfortable, a little too rough. That's why I like to soften everything. Going to 
Yes, truly. I know. It's often much quicker than people do realize. We like to make the experience a bit longer though because it's nice and you came here to pamper yourself today. Nice warm cloth. And if you wish, we can follow it up with a cool at the end after we put on. Two balms, because I like to use multiple products. Um, one of them back here, let me grab that for you, along with the cologne. Are you interested in a spritz of cologne today as well? Wonderful. Perfect. We have a very very nice collection of fragrances. We'll find one that suits you perfectly. Okay. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of this balm here on the corners. We'll put some more balm on the newly shaped, perfectly smooth skin. And then we will trim up and perfect your mustache. Okay. Now this is the ultimate comfort balm. A little bit on this Q-tip. And place it right there. Good. the Grafton aftershave balm. This is another one where you can see if you like the scent first. Put a little bit on like that. You smell that? It's nice. Good. Perfect. Smooth skin. It just glides right on. I love this. All right. I'm going to very gently trim off the ends of your mustache.
lovely. Yeah, so you can take a look in the mirror. Let me know if that's what you're looking for. Good. Good. Now I do have a small beard butter. This is the travel size. We'll take small, small, small dot and use this to also soften and almost style your mustache. Okay. This is very in the aroma while you're relaxing at all. Give this a smell. Perfect. All right. We are all done. I hope you feel rejuvenated. We would love to have you come back soon. Thank you so much.